This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Squarespace. It's the end of the year as we know it, and I feel fine. Well, mostly, I'm still getting over that cold. What are we looking for for next year when it comes to the world of technology rumors? Let's round them up. It's Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup. Woohoo! What is going on, everybody, and welcome to a special year-end episode. It's actually part two of our two-part year-end episode of Rumor Roundup on Revision 3. My name is Noah Kravitz. I'm editor-at-large for technobuffalo.com, and this is the Rumor Roundup. This week's episode is brought to you by our friends at Squarespace, and I also want to mention, check out the new Revision 3 show, Toasted Donut. I would like to get a toasted coconut donut right now. Anybody from the East Coast, you know Dunkin' Donuts, toasted coconut donuts? Those are good. I could use one right now. Last week, we looked back at the year in rumors, technology-wise, 2011. Now let's look forward. What are some of the things we're looking for to shape the technology, the consumer tech landscape in the year 2012? It all kicks off in, I don't know, like a day? <laughs> Just a couple of weeks, or less than a week rather, about a week and a half, uh, at CES 2012 in Las Vegas, Nevada. What are we looking for? Well, in some ways, same as uh, 2011, in some ways, extensions of what we've seen in 2011 going into 2012. Mobile is still gonna be hot. I think mobile is gonna start to transition to basically just the predominant way that we get our stuff. By that, I mean smartphone usage, mobile broadband, tablets, just becoming more and more of the predominant way that you know the masses get their uh, information and their connectivity as opposed to desktop computers. Uh, I don't think we're gonna see the abandonment of desktop computers or you know the, the total cutting the cord on uh, DSL and cable modems and that kind of stuff in favor of cellular just yet, but I think we're moving that way. 2011 was kind of the year of tablets uh, really starting to take hold, and I think next year we're gonna see more of that. What's gonna happen with BlackBerry RIM? They're in a lot of trouble right now. Is it too late for them? Or uh, you know, can they get the BlackBerry 10 phones out? They're saying second half of next year. Is that gonna be too late or not? Can Nokia make a comeback? We're looking for a big presence from Nokia at CES 2012 uh, to really kick their US comeback into overdrive. They've got the Lumia 710 on T-Mobile. Looking for more devices, uh, Lumia 800 with LTE possibly, and also probably the Lumia 900, the real flagship Windows Phone 7 device. Nokia apparently internally is calling it Rolling Thunder, their big comeback into the US scene. Uh, also, I think we'll see more integration between Nokia and Microsoft, perhaps with Xbox Live, perhaps with you know Bing functionality, Nokia Maps, that kind of stuff. From Apple, I think we'll see iPhone 5, I think we'll see um, a physical redesign we didn't see that in the 4S, basically the same as the 4 on the outside. I think we'll see a new body, we'll see LTE connectivity. I don't know if we'll see a larger screen size or not. We might. They might bump it up to around, you know, I don't know, 3.8 or 4 inches. I don't think Apple's going to go huge, but they might just keep it where they are. Next generation iPad, iPad 3, Retina display, I think we'll see that. I think we'll see the Retina display start to crop up in laptops. Maybe we'll see one high-end MacBook Pro with a really, really high resolution display. On the Android side, we'll obviously see a bunch of ice cream sandwich products, dual core and quad core powered from NVIDIA, and then also Qualcomm playing catch up. I think we'll see you know announcements around Android 5, whatever that is, because that seems to be the release cycle once a year. And on that end, we'll probably see Apple go uh, iOS 6. What those things will be, will bring, I don't know. I think voice control, you know, Apple, not the first to do voice control, but Siri kind of getting a lot of the press right now. Uh, you know, voice control will be big, but will it be big? You'll see a lot of it. I don't know how people will take to it. Still sort of in the realm of mobile here, I think we'll see a lot of these Ultrabook computers from Intel and their partners, which in a lot of ways are, are right now, you know, if you look at something like the Asus ZenBook, it's basically a MacBook Air clone. But I think, you know, thinner, lighter, more powerful, the MacBook Air line and the MacBook Pro line on Apple's side will start to converge. Maybe they will converge altogether. Same thing on the Windows side. Obviously, Windows 8, Windows 8 is going to be very interesting, uh, how it integrates, you know, and, and what they do and in terms of the Metro design language on top of a full-fledged operating system for tablets, for desktops, for PCs, all that. That'll be interesting to keep an eye on as well. Whew, I'm out of breath. Let's take a break here from our friends at Squarespace. Squarespace is the fast and easy way to create a high quality blog, portfolio, or website. It's fully hosted and they take care of all the tricky details of getting your site online. There's nothing to download, nothing to install, and nothing to set up. 
Plus, if you have any questions or need help, Squarespace provides every customer with amazing support. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Check out squarespace.com to get 30% off for three months. Make sure to enter the coupon code TECHNO12. That's right, you can get 30% off for three months just by entering the coupon code TECHNO12, T-E-C-H-N-O-1-2 at squarespace.com. All right, one more area related to mobile that I think is going to be very interesting in 2012 is wearable technology. We've seen a little bit of it here and there going way back to the Microsoft spot watches that, you know, a watch that could communicate over FM radio waves. And now we're seeing, uh, we've seen a few Bluetooth enabled watches, Sony Ericsson, a couple other companies. But I think we'll also see things like the Jawbone Up and the Fitbit. We'll see more of this wearable technology that all connects to um, both cloud-based and personal networks to track everything from, you know, your personal uh, exercise and calorie consumption to all sorts of information to just letting you access uh, information on your smartphone without having to take your phone out of your pocket. So, you know, I, I think this whole idea of sort of mining your person for information, sticking it in the cloud and then doing something with it will be huge next year and you'll see that by way of uh, wearable technologies. I think the cloud, you know, people are still trying to figure out what to do with the cloud. I think the cloud will continue to be big. Uh, the cloud, uh, cloud TV, web-based TV will also be big. We've, we've seen a little bit of it this year. These TVs are web connected and we're starting to see very slowly, it's gonna take a while, uh, this paradigm shift in terms of the way, what TV means. And this idea of these big TV networks broadcasting through the air is slowly changing to this idea of on-demand content delivered over the internet that I can watch whatever show I want whenever I want to watch it, except of course for live events. Apparently in the Steve Jobs biography by Walter Isaacson, uh, Jobs, you know, one of the last things he did before he uh, passed away this year was apparently he said that he finally cracked it. He finally figured out uh, how to transform television in the way that you know he thinks he transformed uh, the music industry with iTunes, which um, you know debatable, but but certainly a case to be made for that. Speaking of TVs, I think we'll see a lot of noise. We'll hear a lot of noise in the area of uh, glasses-free 3D. I think you know two two big factors stand in the way of mass 3D adoption in the home. One is the glasses. Nobody wants to wear the glasses at home. It's too much of a pain. Two is I mean, do we really want it? On the gaming end of things, I like to defer to Joey because he knows what he's talking about and I don't, but I think we'll see something new from Microsoft, new generation of Xbox hardware. Sony's obviously got the, the PlayStation Vita, the PS Vita coming out. I don't know if we'll see a new PS3 successor. And then Wii U, I don't know if that's supposed to come out in 2012 or not until 2013. It'll be interesting to see, I think, you know, more integration between uh, consoles and mobile gaming. Uh, last but certainly not least, electric cars. What can I tell you? I'm still excited for the Tesla Model S. We'll leave it at that. All right, that'll do it. This puts a wrap on the whole year. It's been an amazing year. Uh, on Revision 3, Techno Buffalo, what can I tell you? An amazing year for me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for having me. Thanks to everybody at Rev3, of course, everybody at Techno Buffalo, including the amazing John Quatch, who makes my shiny head look even better on video than it does in person. Uh, to our friends at Squarespace for sponsoring this week's episode. And uh, we will see you more than you can imagine from CES in just a few days. Out in the desert, Las Vegas, CES 2012. Be there or be Squarespace. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. So on behalf of everybody at Techno Buffalo, happy holidays, happy new year, all our best wishes for a peaceful, prosperous, and very happy 2012 for you and yours, whoever you are. Thanks for watching. See you next year. Bye-bye. So Glenn has a new show coming online. Yeah, I've heard. Toasted Donut. Toasted we Donut. We talked about this for a long, long time. Toasted uh, Donut was actually a Dignation invention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the show. Yeah, what is the show? Uh, just like short, little five, six minute segments. Two minutes, maybe. Well, hello, and welcome to Toasted Donut. This is the show where I'll bring you small portions of food and silverware to eat that food with on a plate that you can then ingest. Maybe like three to four minutes worth. The Look world through wearing. the lens of Glenn's <laughs> eyes, which can include <laughs> somewhat serious health and nutrition. He's doing some talking to some people, doing some wacky segments. I mean, about I, I want to get information. In his life. Yeah, I want to get information from people and do like short interviews with people, but also throw in like not just a typical interview style piece, throw but throw in some, some kind of odd stuff in the middle. Hey, Glenn. Yeah, Dave. How about a tour? Tour of what? 
my microphone? No, not that. 